Cardio, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. Finally back with some F1. It's been a little bit. We're looking at the greatest starts ever, like the top 30 at least, according to this video. So any of these you agree with or maybe you disagree with, you got to let me know down in the comments below. This comes to us from a channel called Anti Cahola, and uh, it's be linked in the description down below so you can watch the whole thing uninterrupted and, of course, browse our channel. And this comes to us from an email suggestion by Derek L. So thank you for that. Let's jump straight into this. Here we go. And uh, unfortunately, most of this video, I just screening a few seconds of it, doesn't have much audio from the racing. It's more music uh, that possibly is copyrighted. So we'll just watch it mostly muted. But uh, Robert Kubica, Robert Kubica, maybe. Oh my God! Look at it's such a oh my. <laughs> It's so chaotic. That's why I love the standing starts of Formula One. It's so wild. Not, you know, absolutely nothing like uh, like a NASCAR start, for, you know, for example. Oh, my God. Look at them shuffle and shift like that. <laughs> what a mess, right? You got to be on your toes. Ooh, look at, look at Romain. He had a nice move. He went inside while everyone went outside, and he passed up like five guys real quick. Whoa, whoa, look at Renault. Coming in one, two, uh, or, or P1 and P2 right in the uh, turn one. <laughs> Same with McLaren. Holy crap. That's pretty cool when you get teammates uh, doing that kind of takeover right at the start, right? Jeez. Whoa, whoa. God, they gain speed so quick. It's kind of unreal, isn't it? Ooh, look at the wheel spin on the guy in front. He took advantage. He went right around them. He's almost catching the leader into in the uh, turn one there. Ooh, this is old. 1973. Look at how cool those cars are. The huge rear wheels. Dang, dude! A couple of those cars up front took off like a bat out of hell. I wonder what the key is to launching it. I mean, sometimes the launch is going to be bad. With these cars, it's crazy. I mean, I guess it all comes down to if those tires bite and, uh, you know, you launch at the perfect RPM, get your shifts, you know, just right. Kind of all comes together for this insane rocket launch start, you know. Always love seeing clips of uh, Ayrton Senna. This is Martin Brundle. Wow, he's avoiding some chaos back there. Another Fernando Alonso. I uh, I reckon he knew how to get going right away. <laughs> Look at Michael Schumacher. Jeez. He took off like a rocket ship. Wow. Oh, my God. What a mess. Singapore looks so difficult, that track. Wow. Look at Massa. He was riding the, uh, about to go in the grass, but it worked. He passed him using all the road there. <laughs> Look at all the smoke. It gets crazy. It gets crazy out there. Fernando Alonso on here a lot. This guy knows how to launch these things, especially in that era, those mid-2000s. He, he made up so much ground before turn one. That was actually unbelievable. I couldn't even count how many cars he passed. This looks like a wet track. That's always interesting. Some guys stalled right on the uh, start. That could be dangerous. Oh, and this guy went around him on the inside towards a wall. <laughs> Holy crap. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we got to watch this one again. This deserves a two-timer. Hold on. Get a look at this. Speaking of wall riding, look at that. Right on the inside, there is no room for error. 
took off like a dragster. Oh my god, look at that one. <laughs> we've been we've been trying to avoid uh, trying to control the car and avoid the uh, competitors there. That was amazing. Look at this one. Oh my god. That car is in full turbo mode. Look at this thing. Right here. Goes around a whole field of six cars. And he's definitely going to catch that leader in just a second. That was awesome. I think that one was my favorite. Considering he took off like a rocket ship. And passed this yellow car in between the yellow wall. Like he had no room for error. And kept rocketing forward towards uh, you know P1. That was awesome. That was nice and quick, too. Just got right to it, right to these crazy starts, uh, the top 30 starts of all time. That's something that is really appealing about F1. It's pretty cool is the standing start. Of course, other racing series do this as well, but it's not. I wouldn't say it's the most common, at least maybe with the racing You know, I grew up watching. I always watched IndyCar, NASCAR, and, of course, various forms of, uh, you know, oval circle track racing you know my local motorsports all these different things uh they're usually rolling starts right and now of course that has its own issues especially when you get on the more short tracks like local racing maybe as opposed to big track nascar like daytona or, or talladega where uh, there's more space to part so it's a little less theatric right uh, at least with the rolling starts when you're on a really short track then of course space is an issue so these rolling starts can be quite chaotic as well uh, kind of like a standing start, but nothing's truly like a standing start. But nothing's quite like a standing start when you have these open wheel race cars, massively powerful, and you know, 20 plus cars right next to each other. Boom, green light. It, it uh, it's pretty cool. It's a way to get that race rolling right away. But hey, that's about it for this one. Please throw a like on there if you did enjoy this and subscribe to be part of this amazing community. Tons of motorsports stuff coming up as well. Uh, I've been still doing a lot of motorsports stuff, but not as much F1 lately, so I do apologize for that. It mostly comes down to a lot of copyright issues I've had with some other videos I've tried to upload. So uh, hopefully you understand, but please keep those suggestions coming. I will try and get to uh, what I can, you know, get through onto the channel. Yeah, guys, in conclusion, my name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker, and until next time, y'all, catch you later.